our mental health theme has three bits to it. The first bit is um, broadly developmental, so we know surprisingly little about normal brain development and mind development. Um, and if we could understand what happens in most people, then we can understand what happens when it goes wrong for people and maybe we can identify people and step in earlier. The second theme is biomedical, so this is about the interaction between brain and body and can we identify new therapeutic targets either related to inflammation or related to hormones that could then be tested for new treatments. And the final theme we've called digital but it actually has two sections so one bit of it is about data how can we use the wealth of data that's routinely collected in the NHS to better identify people as problems develop or even before um, using computer machine learning. The other theme is about um, virtual reality and, and people's ability to sense what's going on in their body. It's called biofeedback, so you can give people a feed out, out of their breathing rate or their pulse rate and help them to respond to it and slow it down, which generally makes you feel calmer. What the NIHR Cambridge BRC does that many other sources of funds that we can bid for don't is it provides that infrastructure and capacity building. Junior researchers, they can go and get you know small amounts of money to test things out, to test paradigms out, to then say to funders to leverage more bigger grants, I can do this, it will work. That's hugely useful. And then in order to do all the work we do, we need the research database. We need the data scientists who can do the um, machine learning. We need the scanners, the people running our Wilson Brain Imaging Centre. And we need the high performance computing. And those are not things that are easy to build into other branches. So it, it gives us infrastructure, it brings us all together across themes and it also helps us build capacity and support the next generation coming up, all of which are essential.